What's going on, you guys? Back at it with another video. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Be much appreciated. Support the channel. Thumb up on the video if you like the video. Like like the content. And uh, leave, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. So, here is the main reason why I choose to stay at night. Because there are so many more companies out there. So many more trucking companies. Hundreds, thousands of trucking companies that I could go to. But the reason why I choose Knight is because they're such a family-orientated company. They care about not only you, but your family if you need time off. They care about that. And they care about your your well-being. So, like, if y'all been following me as long as you've been, you know I take a lot of time off. I enjoy my home time. Enjoy my time off. So, I get a tremendous amount of time off. More than most people do. But it's because of the relationship. Knight knows that you need that time off. So they know that, hey, driver needs some time off, no big deal. And we got so many positions here. You got local, regional, um, you can go casual, part-time. So the way the casual works, you can go twice a day, uh, twice a week, once a month, uh, kind of like what I did. I took 25 days off, 25 days off. And I came back on the 25th day. So, you know, you get that flexibility. And I, you, I can't beat that anywhere else. Walmart might probably match that. Um, but, you know, it's like, why go somewhere else? Why go somewhere else if it's not broken? It's like, why fix a part if it's not broken? Why leave a company if it's not broken. If you have no issues, they're training you well, you get the miles, you get the pay. I have maybe one or, one or two times my whole time being here, they messed up on my pay because I didn't get a trip paid out. But they corrected it and they paid me out the next day. You can't ask for more than that. Um, I never had an issue in my pay, you know, I get 2,500 miles a week, average. I average 10,000 miles a month when I stay out uh, four or five weeks at a time. Even when I don't stay out that long, so if I go home every two weeks, when I lived in Reno, I was averaging 9,500 miles a month. That's not bad, 9,500 miles a month. And um, I was still hitting my bonuses my and all that stuff. You know, the communication is there. You get just that communication of respect, you know, trying to get a hold of a, a dispatcher, your dispatcher. When you come on over here, um, usually you will be put up with the terminal manager for about 30 or so days, maybe 90 days. They want to see how you run. Are you, you know, they want to see how you run. You know, is there anything that needs to be tweaked? You know, all kinds of stuff. And then after your 90 days, you get all, you get dispatched right onto a dispatcher's board. Now, some of you may get straight put onto a dispatcher's board. You know, if you have experience, they're probably going to throw you on a board because they're going to want to see how you run. They're like, all right, can this, guy, can this driver make on-time deliveries? Um pickups, how is he on communicating, all that stuff. So there's such a variety of things. And it's just nice having that support. So, you know, like I said, I can go anywhere. And I get a lot of people that ask me all the time, why don't I go anywhere? Like, why don't I go elsewhere? Night's not a good company. Night is this or night is that. Here's the thing, um, because it didn't work out for you doesn't mean it's not going to work out for me. It's for not for everybody. 
you know, what works out for me may not work out for my subscribers. They may not and might not be a good fit for them. And you eventually will find that. And once you find that job, you're going to stay there. And that's kind of what I'm doing here. And the nice thing is, too, if you've been following along, you noticed I relocated to Detroit, Michigan. So I relocated to the Detroit area back home. And I didn't have to look for a job. That's the benefit about being a truck driver is I can still be with the company. I just transfer my license and all that stuff, uh, taxes and information like that. And that's it. I'm still with the company and you keep on working. So, you know, that's the beauty of it. If I, you know, I might here in a couple of years, in a year or two, I might decide to go down to Phoenix. I might move to Phoenix, you know. You don't got to be stuck in one area. You don't got to live in one area. You know, if you've grown up in California, Southern California all your life, you don't got to live there. You know, you're not forced to live there. You can live anywhere in the country that you want. And that's the nice thing about having a CDL. You can do that. And there's a lot of trucking companies that, um, that will actually pay you to relocate. Um, can a, can, uh, what is it? KNA Performance? out of uh, California, I can't think of the name of it, but they will pay you to relocate to an area that is hot, to an area that they need drivers and they'll pay you. What other, not a lot of companies are gonna do that, you know? So that's really the nice thing about it. And um, I, get, I get consistent freight. I run, I run completely out of the week. When I get done here, I'm doing a 34 and I'm back at it. So, you know, 2,900 miles for the week, I can't beat that. And why leave? So hopefully that helps you all out. You know, you're gonna have haters anywhere you work at, anywhere you go, anywhere, what anything you do you know, you're always going to have haters that's going to hate on you because you're doing better than them. It's just how it is. I've had it at the dealership. I've had it everywhere I worked at. And, um, you know, they're jealous because they're not where you're at or whatever the case is. But, you know, I do me and that's who what I do. And hopefully I can help out drivers. And if I do, that's great. And if I can't, I will try to guide them to where they can get help out. So if you got any questions about, you know, even the company, I get a lot of people that email me on the company for CDL. So if you want to email me, my email is West Coast Transport LLC at gmail.com. That is my email for anything you want to know about trucking, jobs, any of that stuff. So, and the email will be down below in the uh, description box. That's where the email will be. So, got any questions, I, I will try to answer them. Like I said, I got tons of people from all over that watch, and I appreciate that. And I appreciate all the support. So... Hopefully y'all are doing good with it being Driver Appreciation Week and, uh, you know, a lot of companies are giving out food, some companies giving out bonuses, so he, over here they got a bunch of terminals that are doing uh, lunch, breakfast and lunch or just lunch and it's a big feast. Kind of like Thanksgiving last year, uh, the year before, they did the same thing. They had a big feast of uh, Thanksgiving where the drivers that couldn't make it home, they go out and 
they cook for the drivers and they bring it in. So you, you can't beat that. You know, every company's got its perks. It's how much crap can you put up with the correct, you know, term of it. It's how much crap can you put up with and just remember that, you know, only difference is, is the name on the company, on the building. You're going to deal with the same stuff anywhere you go. It's how much can you put up with. Um, thankfully, I don't deal with that here. I don't, I don't have a driver manager that micromanages me, that calls me up every single day. What are you doing? Where are you at? Uh, you got to make your delivery on time. He don't do that. And I've known him for three and a half years. So he knows I'll get there on time. And if I can't, he knows I communicate to where I'll call up. So, you know, it's what it is. Hopefully this helps you all out, kind of answers that question. And um, on my 34, I am going to do a video on um, how to fix the CB warning on your uh, CB radio. I get a lot of comments on the video that I did tons of comments how do how to fix a CB warning how do you fix it I'm gonna do a video on that so once I get to the yard I'll do a video and that will be uploaded but appreciate y'all for sticking along following me for as long as you've been and uh, for continuing following with me so more things to come y'all be safe and see you on the next video